that video to the, uh, the legend I'm gonna get it freaking wrong what's up guys my name is the sim racer and welcome to another video today we I'm gonna be kind of breaking down you know we're not gonna be specific about dates anything about the super formulas as you can see right here the new uh, SF 23 is coming to Gran Turismo 7 close to close to the end of the month and now Frankly, right now it's the 22nd, right? I'm assuming 22nd. Yes, yeah, 22nd, I think. Yep, 22nd. 22nd of April. And as you can see right here, we're gonna read this out loud. If I, so it says, new partnership between Japan Race Promotion and something digital. I can't really say that. It's something probably something very simple. I can't say it. It says the SF33 will be, or er, 32 will be added. Wait, 23 will be added on a with April update and it says Japan's race promotion you know organize and organizers of Japan of the Japanese Super Formula Championship Super Formula announced a new partnership with uh, the game with Gran Turismo uh, 7 on April 4th so this it's been a while since they've posted this here and as you can see so most for most people you're probably not going to be interested for a lot of, for a lot of people you're probably not going to be interested if you're not part of sir say like the f's like f1 f2 f3 and f4 or just super formula in general um now frankly i wasn't surprised i wouldn't i wasn't going to be surprised because in gt and gran turismo sport they actually added these into the game as well so i didn't it didn't really surprise me none that they were going to add this back so give me a second i'm gonna go bring up the so here's the images so as you can see they the, the front arrow is similar but it's not because it has a different a different design the rear wing on the S SF, um, I think it's 17, I think, SF-17, I had to look at it, is more square than the newer SF-23s. So, as you can see right here, this is the shape of it, and I'll show you in a minute on the other Super Formulas, and also and, and uh, on the, the older Super Formulas in the game, I'll show you that in a minute. But then, um, you can see here, they actually have liveries this time other than last time where they had a um just it was, they were just covered fiber with the name honda or toyota splatter on them so but here are some images of the livery style you can definitely see that you can see the imaging you can see that that rear wing is more pointed at the end there and this bit is also a tiny bit different they're also using different tires for these Technically, they're still advanced, but they're still using different tires, like different colored tires. But then we move on to these. You can see that they, di you can see the difference. So if I, I wish I could boop, boop, bump up these pictures because I can't see them well from where I'm sitting. But you can see that these and these pictures are both Hondas, apparently. Oh wait. Okay, so one side says Honda, one side says GR. So that's gonna that's gonna confuse a lot of people. So I think I'm assuming this is going to be the Toyota. This is going to be the Honda, but I could be completely wrong. Interiors probably you probably seen it mostly. As they look exactly the same. Anyways, I'm going to show you the older ones to compare. So here we are with the super formulas that are already in the game. As you can see, we're going to kind of preview this one if I could. I wish I could though. Don't ask what that was, guys. I honestly didn't know what that was. But, um, so, you can see, I have mine in my, uh, thing. You can see, actually, you know what, let's go to my, well, actually. So, you can see that the original liveries for these things, it's, it's just carbon fiber. And you're allowed to do whatever freaking livery you want for these. Wheels are also different. They're getting different wheels. I don't think they're going to be BBSs no more. You can see the overall shape. I wish I could preview this better, but... The overall shape, you see the rear wing is 10 times different to what they are, what they were previously. Or, because you can see this wing right here is more square, while the, um, the newer Super Formulas that are getting added to this game are more, you know, in like a tr triangular, weird, round triangle shape, basically. So then, 
Yeah, so like I said, what's good? They say Toyota. Like so, if we look at this, this says uh, if it says it, it's a TRD. And then this one just says straight Honda on the side right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. But anyways, I'll show you mine so we can kind of get more detail. So give me one second, guys. And we're back, guys. You can see. Um, so basically, we're gonna. Go, oh, this is mine right here. We're basically gonna go over a few differences with the. Um, Styling for once, for instance, see this, okay, we're gonna zoom into this rear. You can see the the overall shape of this one is more square. Well, if y'all saw on the picture, once again, in the picture, it is more of a triangular, circular thing. You see the front end's not good on the newer ones. The front end's not gonna be as pointed out like this one, as you can see. This, uh, let me zoom in right here. This right here, this little point right here where this Ford logo is. This may not be on the newer ones. If so, if you were kind of, you know, lacking that, which most people don't really, I don't really see most people using this unless it's on like Monza or not, not yeah, Monza, a spa or something, a Red Bull ring, you know, the typical F1 courses in this game. But as you can see, not a lot, not a lot of a difference. So you have, like I said, go interior, if we can get in there properly. You see, steering wheel is, is exactly the same. Now, the different, the, the two, like, the main differences would be the rear wing right here. These wheels. Oh, yeah, this wheel, these wheels right here are going to be a little different. Which I'll show you again when I cut back to the uh, thing. And as you can see here, it's, it's overall going to be a little bit of a different shaping. Like, I think these little spikes right here, these are still on there. But they're not as, um, I wouldn't say it there. So let me go back to the picture so I can just keep this picture in your head. And then I'll go back and compare it to the other one. So give me a second. Okay, so here we are again with these pictures. And actually, I was completely wrong about the little spike that's on the side there. So if you look, if you remember on the other picture, you'd remember a little thing on, on the side over there by the rear wheels that came up as like a little fin. It kind of matched the top of the F1 car or the uh, form Super Formula. I wish I could freaking zoom into this, but it doesn't allow me to. But here, so basically, this uh, this little spike right here is no. There used to be a spike here. There's no longer here anymore. You can definitely tell that the rear wing is way different than the the one that's already in the game. There's more lines more contrast and everything and right now i'm gonna go over the dates so as of now with the trend of um with the trend of the way the updates work which is when they re they release them between the 20th and the 30th like when they're beside, like, like some, they release updates in this game if they ever do, if they do um, a certain month. They usually release them from in be between April, tw like, or well, as of right now, the 20th to the 31st. So, between that time frame, I kind of did some research or something, breaking down the middle of like the, the April 20s months. And as of now, the most, like, the tr with the trend of Gran Turismo, most likely it's going to be around the 26th, the 26th of April. So, basically, yeah. But anyways, that is something uh, I had to just make a video about because, to me, this is pretty exciting because I can finally make a new livery <laughs> on um, the new ones. But... For other people, I guess you. I guess now they now with the way things work in this game, they might just like with the anyway, just like with the um, the PSVR thing that they released back. I think it was in either February or March, either February or March between those two months. Um, they would they released a few cars with it and a, and released a new track with it as well. Just like also just like last month they released like I think it was five new cars they released no four new cars 
So four new cards. They released four new cards and two variants of Nurburgring. Ring. That's it. So if this is kind of correct, there might be more to come for this update, but because what they're saying right here if I wish I could highlight it but right here it says will be added with April update but usually because what people are saying now is that they're kind of taking a break from the updates now but we'll just see so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it you know hit the like button I'll see you next time this is <laughs> I gotta get used to this this is the sim racer signing out peace